earlier today, DJS Secretary Vincent Chiraldi spoke with law students at Harvard University about the benefits of ending probation. It comes as Governor Westmore prepares to sign new legislation, which will extend it. Fox 45's Jeff Abel joins us live with a closer look at the head of DJS's latest comments and the potential fallout that those comments could bring. Jeff. Well, when it comes to juvenile justice reforms, the governor may be saying one thing, but tonight it appears his juvenile services secretary is saying another. When lawmakers opened their session in January, they got their first glimpse of the governor's juvenile reform package, which came with a promise from the governor. We're also very clear that we're one team here. But as lawmakers debated the governor's juvenile crime package, questions began to develop. Part of the governor's plan included extending probation for juvenile offenders from six months to one year. I think we have to uh, increase the probationary period. You have to have a probationary period that's long enough for the young person to actually receive the support. Those are not the positions of the Moore Mill administration and they're not going to be the positions of the more male administration. We must pursue two notions simultaneously, holding young people accountable for wrongdoing while helping them get back on track, all in an effort to improve public safety. But Juvenile Services Secretary Vincent Chiraldi is publicly supporting a far different notion. Last year, he published a book suggesting probation should be abolished. And at Harvard Law School today, Chiraldi spent an hour speaking to law school students where he laid out his case for ending probation. They sound like the children on the playground with no supervision. The person who's in charge of the Department of Juvenile Services wants to end probation in the state legislature and the governor wants to extend probation. How can you extend something that doesn't exist? But by the time lawmakers adjourned this week, the proposal to extend probation had passed, along with other parts of the governor's crime package. But the governor has yet to sign it. I don't think that the governor is going to, to veto it. Despite a heavy lobby to veto the measures, Delegate Ryan Naraki is convinced the proposals will become law. I think the public wanted us to go further um, than, than what the law does. Um, you know, I, I think it was somewhat of a compromise position. I wish it went further. Um, but unfortunately, we couldn't get to, you know, be even more stringent with it. But I think that the law will ultimately be signed into law. And that has critics questioning how the secretary, who's now on a campaign to abolish supervision for offenders, will ever be able to enforce more supervision for offenders. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a jigsaw puzzle with 50 pieces missing. It doesn't work. Well, despite intense pressure to veto the measures, the governor has indicated he will be signing them. We're live tonight. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News.